Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World and welcome to a feature today on my newly acquired 1980 Greco Mockingbird copy. Uh, so when it arrived, I don't know if you watched my other video, uh, when it arrived, didn't really need much work, um, the switch switch was broken. It was the actual the plastic bit inside the switch, the toggle itself, which is snapped off inside. So I couldn't change pickup positions. It was just stuck on the bridge. Uh, the other thing was uh, this switch here it just kept turning. I wasn't sure if the, the switch itself was broken, but it turned out um, there's a little Allen key grub screw sort of thing. That just needed tightened now the pot um, works it was needing a replacement pot now I don't have a I didn't have a BC rich one but I had this from a 1974 Ibanez it's not the same but it will do just now um, so I just put contact cleaner on all the all the switches put a battery in uh, changed the toggle switch I actually had one from a 1986 BC Rich uh, Bitch, I think it was a Bitch, um, NJ series, so I just swapped out for that, I parried that guitar out and gave it a good clean. Mm. As you can see, it's uh, fantastic. I mean, I've, I think this might be made of core, and if it is, then it's quite a high model. It's got an ebony fingerboard, looks like Mother of Pearl inlays. Um, badass type bridge and uh, it works, it works great now somebody had asked me what I used to clean clean my guitars, nothing special I use a, a yellow polishing type thing and I'm using Nomad I'm using Nomad, the guitar one clean, polish, wax and protect in one easy step pro strength formula so that's that's what I use so if you want to buff your wood to a fine shine then this is the thing to use so uh, onto this guitar I mean look at all the switches it's like switch central one two three four a very tone like a three three five now my friend Mike uh, Mike's just taken over charge of my internet sales wing so Mike's um, he sent me a a diagram which I couldn't really work out but more importantly he sent me an email with the settings in it so here's what Mike says uh, the controls are master volume master volume then three way toggle switch three way toggle switch then preamp volume. Pre Keep bloody camera keeps focusing on my face, not the guitar. Preamp volume and master tone. The mini switch above the rotor is the preamp off. So that's that one there. Preamp off. The rotor is a very tone like on a three three five. Yeah, I mean, you should see the wiring inside this. It's like there's a different capacitor soldered on, or soldered on, as the American side of the world says, um, to each each lug. So there's like five capacitors. I mean, I'm glad this worked because I would never have got this fixed uh, if I needed to be sold on that. Um, then the mini switches, the bottom one is the neck coil tap middle bridge coil tap top is the face switch so these ones here uh, I'm not sure I, I think that's the other way around I think I think the bottom ones the face switch and that's a coil tap for the bridge and coil tap for the 
neck and that's the out of phase but my old ears can't really discern the differences so I'm going to do a sound demo once I eventually shut up and you can hear what it sounds like so these are Greco uh, pickups they're just stamped A um, which I think were 1980, oh this is a 1980 guitar, July 1980 I think it is, um, Grover, Imperial Tuners, so yes, nice guitar, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll do some sound samples, I shall plug, plug this in, now I'm plugging it into my blue guitar amp, um, I'll do some cleans and then some medium sorry drive, but I have to say the, uh, the preamp, the boost, uh, there's a, a 9 volt battery in the back. It's like being caught up in a hurricane when you turn this bad boy on. You know, it's like it's like the biggest boost pedal anybody's ever made. Um, so I've had to, on my focus right, you can't focus on it because it's up there, but on my focus right, I've had to turn the input right down because as soon as I hit this boost switch, it's uh, straight into the red. <laughs> so without any further ado, I'll plug it in and I'll zoom in and you can see what I'm yabbering about. Okay, okay. So I uh, zoomed in. Now it's important to focus on the sound and not my Paul and guitar playing. No point in saying, oh that's not how you play that song, Dunsey. Just listen to the sound. Uh, so we'll start with some clean sound. So this is a uh, bridge pickup. Don't have the boost on. The volume and tone are all the way up. See if you can get the focus. Middle position. Bridge, sorry, neck, just in its own. So I'll check the positions on the very tone so you can hear what it sounds like. Yeah, I'll just do it in the bridge pickup, otherwise we'll be here all day. So you've heard position one, this is position two. Position three. Position four. And position five. So yeah, quite a bit of difference in sound. I mean, I'm saying that I don't have headphones on, so I can't actually hear that it's changing. Um, but when I tried it earlier, it definitely did. Um, so I think I think I think this is a coil tap for the for the bridge pickup top one. Now we'll try the boost switch. Now actually, I have to turn the volume on the clean channel right down to two. It was at six. Because this boost is so strong. So here's just a C bar chord without the boost on. I need to make sure that's not peaking in my software. So what a difference. So here's it off. Here's it on. Incredible, eh? Anyway, that's enough clean. I don't really do clean that much. Let's move on to the overdrive sounds. Turn that boost off first. Go over to the... Now I'm going to put headphones on just to make sure this is actually recording, so you won't see this, but it makes me feel more comfortable. So this is just the bridge uh, on a medium setting, medium gain setting. <laughs> Middle 
position. See if this, see if this is indeed the coil tap for the bridge. I think anyway. Um, coil tap for the. So I'll try the very tone on an overdrive setting. Again, I'll just do it on the bridge. That's position one, position two. difference in sound. So we'll put it right back to the uh, bridge again. So this is just the overdrive sound. <laughs> So let's try the gain on an overdrive setting. So this is uh, without the without the boost. Some lead lines, I mean, it's almost like it feeds back almost, there's so much gain. Here's it on. off I mean you can get some funky sounds out of this um, with these phases and uh, like on the neck pickup but you can get some really really cool sounds I mean it's almost telecaster ish in places like with the uh, coil taps and phase and I've got the uh, very tone at position 5 <laughs> It's incredible.
the spectrum. If you've got like the boost on full and you're just on the bridge and, and you're in drop D. <laughs> Flanger on that by magic. But I mean, what a heavy sound. Classic rock. To feel on metal. That's the uh, 1980 Greco BC Rich Mockingbird copy. Uh, beautiful guitar, fantastic, really well made. Really pleased, really pleased I got this. I was a bit worried, you know, when I when I purchased it, the auction said it didn't work. B it was being sold as junk, um, but as you can see and hear, it's anything but junk. So yeah, very pleased. And again, perhaps more importantly, as you can see, Motley Crue. And Leet Ford approve of this video. So uh, thank you for tuning in folks, thank you for watching. Uh, please please do subscribe, I think I looked the other day and 80% of the people who watch my videos uh, haven't subscribed. But you know, there's a million and one things out there. Uh, but if you did, it'd be fantastic. So until the next time, cheers for now.